Have you ever wondered, what is time? Why does time always pass, never stop, and remain beyond our grasp? Time is something everyone feels, but no one can see or touch. It is a part of our daily lives, yet its true nature remains a great mystery. Some say time is like a river flowing endlessly from the past to the future. But is it really so? Or is time just the way humans organize the world around them? Today, Stars of Wisdom will take you on a journey to explore time through three lenses. Physics, philosophy, and theology. We will look at what science says about time, how philosophy contemplates it, and how it is understood through a sacred perspective. And the final question for you. Does time really exist, or is it merely a product of imagination? Join Stars of Wisdom on a journey to explore one of the greatest mysteries of the universe, time. In physics, time is not an independent concept. It is intrinsically linked with space, forming a structure scientists call space-time. Imagine space-time as a massive grid. When a massive object like a planet or a star is placed on it, the grid bends, and time, like a stream of water, flows more slowly near areas where the grid is more distorted. Albert Einstein, the father of relativity, changed how we perceive time. He explained that time is not fixed, it can stretch or contract depending on speed and gravitational forces. Here's an example. If you stand on Earth, time flows faster compared to standing near a black hole, a region in the universe with an immense gravitational pull. This phenomenon is called gravitational time dilation. Time dilation occurs not only with gravity, but also with speed. The faster you move, the slower time flows for you compared to those standing still. Einstein's theory was proven in 1971 during the Hafele Keating experiment. Two atomic clocks were placed on jet planes flying around Earth. When the planes returned, the clocks on the jets were slightly slower than the ones on the ground. But why does time always flow in one direction, from the past to the future? This is known as the arrow of time. The arrow of time relates to a concept called entropy. Entropy measures the level of disorder in a system. And according to thermodynamics, entropy always increases. This means the universe is becoming more chaotic over time. Not only in physics, but we also feel the relativity of time in daily life. An hour can pass by quickly when you're happy, but it seems to last forever when you're waiting. For centuries, philosophy has asked, does time truly exist? Or is it merely the way we understand the world around us? Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher, defined time as the measure of change with respect to before and after. For him, time cannot exist without change. But Immanuel Kant, a German philosopher, had an entirely different perspective. He believed that time does not exist outside of humans. It is simply the way our minds organize the world. Zeno, a Greek philosopher, posed the question, is time continuous like a river, or is it a collection of discrete moments? Zeno is famous for his paradox of Achilles and the tortoise. In this paradox, Achilles, despite being faster, will never catch up to the tortoise if the tortoise always advances slightly ahead. For Zeno, this paradox illustrates that time may not flow continuously, but could instead be discrete moments connected within our minds. In modern philosophy, Martin Heidegger connected time to human existence. He argued that time is not just a physical phenomenon, but the core of our awareness of finitude. Awareness of time helps humans recognize the finiteness of life, prompting them to seek meaning in their existence. This is why time remains a vital topic in existential philosophy. In theology, time is not a natural phenomenon, but a part of creation. The Bible states, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This is a profound idea. Before the universe existed, time did not exist. According to theology, God transcends time. He is not bound by the past, present, or future. St. Augustine, one of the greatest theologians, posed the question, what was God doing before he created the world? His answer was profound. 
There was no time before creation, because time began with the universe. Augustine also believed that time is tied to change. Without change, without movement, time cannot exist. In theology, time is temporary, a part of the material world, but eternity is far greater, a state without beginning, without end, unaffected by time. In theology, time is a gift from God. It is not just a measure of life, but an opportunity for humans to learn, live righteously, and prepare for eternal life. In theology, time is not merely a passage, but an opportunity to understand and connect with the divine. In the material world, time will end, but eternity is the ultimate destination of every soul. Time from the perspectives of physics, philosophy, and theology is both familiar and mysterious. It is not just a dimension of space-time, but also a way we perceive and organize life. Physics teaches us that time is not fixed. It can stretch or contract, influenced by speed and gravity. On a cosmic scale, time is a factor that shapes reality. Philosophy emphasizes that time is not merely a physical phenomenon, but also central to how humans seek meaning in life. From Aristotle to Heidegger, time is at the heart of existential reflection. Theology offers a more sacred perspective. Time is a gift from God, allowing humans to live, learn, and prepare for eternity. But eternity beyond time is the ultimate destination. So what is time truly? An objective entity, a subjective concept, or part of a divine plan? The answer may depend on how you perceive it. No matter how you view time, the most important thing is how you use it. Live fully, learn constantly, and always seek meaning in every moment.